<laughs> Yay. So anyways, this is a <laughs> just a bucket from, you know, the local home center. Uh, I made sure we got out there and found HDPE. Number two. Uh, the, I'm not sure for whatever reason some of the resin I'm using keeps getting a little too hot. Uh, it might be, you know, the amounts I'm pouring <laughs> might possibly have something to do with it. And uh, I'm not sure. I guess I could check this. Um, uh, with it being split and the pith still in it, uh, it's pretty dense. This is Koa from Hawaii, I believe. Um, one of my viewers sent it in from Washington. I know he doesn't want any recognition, but Rick, too bad. <laughs> Thanks for it, buddy. Uh, I, have, I have other friends on here that really want to turn some of this. Uh, Zach. <laughs> so uh, we're going we're gonna to put some facet resin down here in the bottom to hold it down. And what I'm trying to figure out now, what you see down in here, I, I, I measured this, and I know this is, I, I don't know what happened. So I'm going to have some extra resin in it now. The idea was to have it as tight as possible. And then the only, only the resin went up here. But as you do, as you can see, I do have some cracks and splits that the resin needs to also go into. So, oh, whatever, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw some on the floor. Y'all are going to have to get over it. Uh, uh, let me get that mixed up. We'll pour it in there. And I'll try to figure out. I don't know. I don't even know what color to go with this. Uh, let me do some research. I don't, I don't even know what it looks like. <laughs> Not even sure why I bother to do that. <laughs> so, I, 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 I had no idea what color to go with. So, I just went with the, the Pearl X Apple Green. I'm going to use the two to one resin now it, it's probably my fault but last week everybody kind of told me I messed up on my mix because I put three to one in there and I wrote out the grams on the bottom well my hardener grams to my 600 parts of this on the other resin the thick set should have been 200 according to my three to one but according to the data sheet it's not exactly three to one so I mixed it according to the data sheet, which was 28 grams per 100 grams of resin, which comes to 168. Six times 28 is 168. So that's why that number was there. I was not wrong with my mixing. The, temp the issue with the rubber was probably because it's a little cold in the shop. It's only 70 degrees in here. And you know, <laughs> it is what it is. But so two to one on this, this is gonna get 45 grams of hardener the two to one slow set hardener per 100 grams of this so i'm going to go with you know uh probably i'm going to do two pours i'm probably going to do you know 400 500 grams of this and then whatever that 45 times four or five hundred it, it i think it's I don't know, 225 if I go five or something. I don't remember. <laughs> I'll figure it out in the calculator. But that the numbers aren't exactly two to one. So I, I just figured out, I refresh everybody's memory for all the newer viewers. So um, <laughs> it is what it is. I did download the data sheets and I pour it by weight according to the data sheets. Because if you eyeball it, usually when you put too much hardener in, you get, end up gummy and not... <laughs> if you put not enough hardener in, you end up brittle. It, it works the other way. So, I, I don't know. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I did. <laughs> maybe I did put too much in. I don't. I don't know. I thought I did it right, but whatever. So let me get with this and quit babbling. So we're gonna gonna go with the the two to one high performance, and then the slow set hardener with the green apple green. Slow set hardener, two to one epoxy. So 45 times, it's 500 in there, five. Oh, it's 225. So I'm gonna put 225 grams in there. So we're gonna tear that, make it zero, and pour 225 more in it. Little mixy thing. Now, I may have made the mistake and scraped the edges when I did last week's, which would have gave me unmixed resin in it. I just been having a bad couple months <laughs> so so I, I may have done that I don't know so so this time I'm going to not 
scrape the edges of this bucket. Well, maybe I'll scrape it and then mix it again. But <laughs> I'm going to mix it with this. I'm going to add a lot of air with this. Now we're going to mix it on a slow speed. Yeah, because if you mix it on fast, it comes right out of that cup all over you. <laughs> Can I do it? <laughs> I got this. I got this little letter in the mail, in the post. What do you guys want to call it? Uh, from Caitlin. Uh, Caitlin is actually in my featured videos, her subscriber section down on my channel. Uh, I'm gonna stick one of these on the board. I'll also put the channel for, or put links for all this good stuff here. Just, if I could hold still enough, Caitlin the cat, on all those different devices. <clears throat> She's doing that maker's chain from around the world, or for around the world, connecting everybody around the world anyway. So uh, thank you, Caitlin. And um, actually, I'm gonna put one right here on this pressure pot on the side, and we'll put the other one up on the sticker board. Here, we'll see what's in here first. Hopefully that didn't crack. It's only been in here about four hours. But I'm pressed for time, so let's see if I screwed it up or not. Let's hope not. Other than it looks like it melted my melted my uh, <laughs> my bucket, it looks all right. <laughs> it looks like it melted my bucket, that's for sure. Hopefully it didn't. <sighs> the whole side of it's all wonky now. It's still a bit warm. It's a little warm. Actually, except for right there where there's a witness line, which should, in fact, be hidden. That's why I made two pours like this, but you know, I'm, I'm really only going to keep this top pour in whatever is in whatever shape here. So I should not have that witness line anywhere on that because I'm going to want the wood grain. Uh, I'm going to see about <coughs> putting a hole right here in the center with a worm screw, attach it to the lathe, and... We'll get going if I got around there, all right? <laughs> so we'll, we'll find the center around here. <laughs> Put you right over here with Zach Higgins. What do you think? And, and, and Scott, the blue light turner.
that was getting really hot. <laughs> Friction on there. That stuff cuts really, 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 really tight. Uh, I don't even know what kind of shape to do to this thing. There's a definite difference between the resin that was poured yesterday and the resin, resin I poured like four hours ago. Uh, this stuff's like hard as a rock and this is a little more... Uh, well, you can see I, I started pushing too fast right here because it was getting hot on, on, on my thumb. Uh, so I got a little bit of chip out because I was, I was rushing the issue. Uh, you can hear it. You can feel it. All you have to do is back off. Slow back down. It takes longer, but it, it can be done without carbide. <coughs> okay, so all that talking and turning and pretty sure I didn't turn the camera on. <laughs> so anyways, I'm kind of, if I didn't say it already, I am going for this uh, flower pot look by the looks of it. This is what I'm ending up with. I was trying to stay away from my pedestal bowls because I always just lean into that. It's easy. Uh, I need to get rid of some of this and sharpen tools. Uh, I've already tried to get rid of it. It was way worse. Uh, so, but I need to get rid of some more. I'm going to give this a little more, a little more burp. Yep. <clears throat> a little more of that. Work on the foot right here and get a tenon in the bottom, get the logo in it. I think I can live with this. We'll just round it over and then we'll work on the inside and get her finished. I think I'm just going to, uh, well, we'll see what it looks like. If I don't like how it looks with the restoring polish on it, I might give it a lacquer so it's shiny. Uh, it looks like it needs to be shiny and not just a satin finish. But we'll see. Got to sharpen that, and I'll be back. There's a big old hole in it, right there. <clears throat> now I'm gonna have to take that out. <laughs> oh, all right, that's not what I wanna do. I can leave a foot and dig it out a little bit more. What do you think? Y'all gotta move, cause you're in the way. Gearheart Industries, folks. There will be a description, a, a description, <laughs> a link <laughs> in the description below for where this branding iron came from. Now, this wasn't round; it was square. I modified it so that I could use it specifically in here. Uh, it, it wasn't a big deal for me. Um, I don't know if they sell them round or not. They may, but <laughs> that's where it came from. Well, yeah, I think I'm going to try to sand this out. I got some really bad stuff there to do. All right, so I'm going to get this sanded up. <clears throat> I'll come back in when we're putting on the, the sealer and all that. We'll burn the, burn the little branding iron on. Ding. And then, uh, and then, uh, uh. There's that magic word again. Uh, uh, uh. Um, I don't even know. <laughs> I'm going to try to smooth this out. We'll get it sanded. I'll come back in. 
I'm not sure in the finish yet. We'll see how it looks. Uh, it's not a bad finish. Um, I'm not sure if I'm happy with it yet or not. I may, I may go shiny. Um, huh, I just might. I think it'd pop it better or make it pop better. Other than that, uh, <clears throat> I think I'm all right with it, and we're gonna get it turned around and start the other side. and sharp 1250 rpms it's a little wobbly uh, and and that's probably because it was a little punky where i had a hold of it so it was kind of hard to line up it's the best i could do I'm so leaving that in there. <laughs> Y'all can see it from this side. You're getting pelted like I do. It's just this big wad of spider webs on you. What are y'all doing in there? <laughs> Stop that. I need to hurry up and get done so I can finish editing this so you all can watch it tonight. a little sharper.
You know, it is. Myelin sanding, cellulose sanding cedar. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you know, the only thing I can think is, you know, coming to my mind is Mario Brothers. The little pots and, and do 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 and it's stuck in my head while I'm doing this. But I guess you got to be looking at it from this direction. <laughs> so, so we'll stand it up. We'll get it over there, let you look at it. We'll talk about it. <laughs> no, come on. I just did all this. I recorded it. <clears throat> And I swear I pushed the button because I was looking at the pause button and you know nothing nothing at all so I have to do this again I don't remember what I said so let's start off with uh, Caitlin and that, there's all her goodies right there I'll put them in the description below um, I mean I don't I don't have uh, I'm assuming that's Twitter I don't have that so I'll put that info down there there's her sticker her other one thanks for the stickers Caitlin and um, she's also in my featured channels down below. She has been since I found her channel way back two years ago or whatever, whenever I found it. So let's get to this thing here. All right. So um, this is my my Mario Brothers looking flower pot because that's all I could think while I was turning it was dooby 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 dooby. Oh yeah, see that? I hear it's on. You guys are all blurry without my glasses. I don't know if I can make it or not. So that's a that's a big chunk of change jump across the pond like that. We're gonna try, but I can't can't guarantee nothing. So, anyways, uh, yeah, um, it's uh, roughly five o'clock in the afternoon. I still have to edit the whole entire turning of this. I, I, everything up to the point I put it on a lathe is already edited, and up to now from the lathe, going on the lathe till now, I have to still edit, and then edit pictures, render, upload, which takes a couple hours, and then edit the YouTube side of it again. I don't know if I'm gonna make it by midnight, but I'm gonna try. So, um, this came from Rick. Now, Rick was on vacation in uh, Hawaii for like a month, and you know, he was rubbing it in, really. My beard is crooked. No, no, I got bed beard. So anyways, uh, <laughs> so so Rick didn't want to be, uh, you know, he didn't, he didn't want no notoriety, but I'm going to I'm gonna give it out there because he's given me all kinds of wood. He's shipped it here from Washington. I've got the red alder. I got some myrtle. I got a whole box of stuff over here on the backside, uh, lilac, all kinds of goodies. And there, I got more red alder down here from him. So I do appreciate it, Rick, even though you didn't want any uh, recognition. You, you got it anyways. <laughs> And this is really cool. It's really um, soft wood. It, 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 like, like I didn't have any problem burning that in there. It, it would sand. There was some punkiness to it. Uh, the other problem I have is somebody's booger hook. <laughs> you see it right there? <laughs> when I was cleaning out the, the finish, messed it up. So I have to sand that out yet. Yeah, I'm not going to do that tonight because I got a lot of work to do. If my wife puts this up and when you buy it, it's coming with that in it. <laughs> so I don't know if she's going to put it up or not, but I need to go take some pictures of it, finish up what I'm doing here. If she puts it online, somebody buys it. I'm sorry, but there it is. It's already in there. <laughs> so I, I, I'd like to not have it in there, but I'm not going to mess with it anymore tonight. I got too much to do. And then, uh, yeah, anyways, uh, mm, thumbs up, thumbs down. And uh, I will see you all next week.
hopefully I'm not so pressured to get something done. Deer season's not over yet. I got this week, I got till the end of the month. And I ain't got a deer yet. And I gotta be in here, I wanna be out there, I gotta be in, I, mm, I, mm, I, mm. 